Wednesday the 17th of July 2013 and I'm down in Guildford again uh, about to do a downland walk this time Guildford through to Farnham but um, not the uh, time out version but um, just simply following the North Downs way uh, which is around about 11 miles I believe it's a cracking day as you can see clear blue sky 25 degrees at the moment very still no wind uh, possibly a bit hot for walking but there you go <coughs> unlike the SAS trainees the other day I should be okay um, again I'm filming on the hand on the uh, mobile because the handycam is still being repaired transpires it is a zoom motor so um, taking a bit longer to repair than I had hoped anyway these little mobile phone quality videos from what I've seen of the one that I did do seem all right certainly uh, for makeshift purposes anyway it's 11 15 let's get cracking much of this is familiar terrain but not to worry. St Nicholas's Church in the background there and the White House. Early refreshment stop for those that need it. Very early. And on my left, under this uh, willow, the River Way, which we'll be following for uh, about a kilometre now. Not sure if that's visible in the shade, but uh, Here's Alice in Wonderland and the rabbit, Lewis Carroll inspired figures. And the information panel on the wall opposite the um, artwork telling us about Alice and the White Rabbit. Approaching the White Bridge over the way, which obviously we cross. And uh, today being a Wednesday, it's a very different and quieter walk to when I came down here a few weeks ago on the Saturday. Once again walking past Millmead Lock and something that I haven't noticed on previous walks here which just goes to show you can learn something every time. I don't know if you can read that because uh, it looks black on this camera but this lock was rebuilt May 2000. footpath marker there telling us exactly where we are entering National Trust territory and the walk ahead as you can see much quieter than on a weekend day a view back to uh, the White Bridge and the pub Just walking along this stretch of the way, prior to branching off on the North Downs Way, and I noticed that someone's been um, cutting down all the uh, vegetation on the banks of this river. Not good from a wildlife perspective. I've just been watching a um, crane fly, trying to find somewhere to land, and obviously it's got nowhere to land because they've cut all the vegetation down. Just don't think, do they? Just let it be as they have uh, done a little bit further ahead by the looks of it though that's probably because they haven't got that far yet ridiculous pleasant wayside scene okay so at this point that we leave the way just prior to that wooden bridge Some wonderful shots today. It's really clear. As I say, just a shame I haven't got the handy cam, but uh, this recording in HD on my mobile is certainly an improvement on my old mobile, the early videos I used to do. And here we go, turn right by this little babbling brook. little notice here about the stream which is in Ferry Lane and I haven't previously noticed that a couple of things I haven't noticed on previous walks opposite the old ship in you do a left 
to consent to continue following the North Downs Way sign. Now, at this point, the Book 2 Walk 12 uh, walk continues up Sandy Lane. I'm diverting away from that now to go down the uh, car wide track opposite and following the North Downs Way signs. This section is a, a section of very pleasant shaded walking. Just what the doctor ordered as we approach noon. Coming out of the shaded woodland area with um, the TV masts over there of Sunny Down on the map. Okay, you have to be careful here, I very nearly missed this. This is the entrance to Conduit Farm uh, and the uh, sign post or marker is easily missed. Views across to the appropriately named Sunny Down, certainly today anyway. Well, we've just left Sandy Lane behind us, but uh, perhaps in days of yore it was like this. Very sandy underfoot here. Once again, you have to be careful uh, with the footpath markers. This one's hidden in the un undergrowth around knee height, and we need to turn off left here, as opposed to following the track which curves right up towards the TV masts. As I've commented previously, beauty of the North Downs walks is that they're often in wooded, shady greenways, which on days like today provides some very pleasant respite. These kind of shots are only possible in the middle of the week when it's uh, a lot quieter weekend that would be disturbed by somebody coming upwards. Just opposite this um, forearm footpath marker, onward journey straight ahead there. Walking up the sandy lane just the other side of Conduit Farm uh, and I assume if it's sandy in the summer could well be uh, muddy in the winter. Don't know that though, just assuming. Never assume anything. Lovely field of yellow here. You may also be able to hear the A31 coming into uh, earshot now. Quarter to one and we reach Watts Gallery just over there. Still not open on Mondays I notice. So back at Watts uh, Gallery Chapel and I notice on the uh, gate coming into here this time they've now banned picnics which doesn't seem very Christian like. views inside the gallery, which uh, I haven't been in before. Quite a throng of people here today. Lovely and cool in here. Yeah, so uh, very fridge-like and refreshing inside there. Interesting that they've uh, banned re uh, picnics in here now though. It's around one o'clock so uh, a good 
point for lunch, but uh, I will per persevere until Putnam. But that notice wasn't there previous time I was here. And I didn't leave any litter, so uh, maybe they've cottoned on. I hope uh, other churches don't do this. Mind you, this is private, isn't it? So, uh, a bit different. There's a well here, dating from 1906. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'm recording the song, so I don't recognise it. And that was all taking place just prior to walking under the A31 ahead of us there and exiting um, Watts's land. It's actually the A3 we've walked under, not the A31. And um, I then emerge into 10 foot high bracken. Fantastic. This is what used to be the good intent. I think it's now the har well, I think it is. It's now the harvester. Possible lunchtime stop. Last time I was here I did say that I was going to find out what the association with the blackbird is. I never did. So uh, I must do that. Okay, the church at Putnam which has arrived just in time, quarter to two, time for lunch. Okay, the church from another angle. And on my left, the village well, which I recall. Last time I was here I had to use the storm porch because it was raining. Very different to today. Having said that though, I've just been in the storm porch and it is in fact, as you'd imagine, underneath that thick brickwork, cooler than uh, sitting on the solitary bench, So, um, which is in the full heat of the sun. So I'm going to have my lunch in the storm porch again. OK, uh, I've picked the right day to come to Putnam uh, Church because um, Wednesdays, alternate Wednesdays, they have um, tea and cake and I've just partaken in the uh, chocolate cake and apple juice very uh, delectable it was so uh, now I'm pressing on excellent so there we have it every other Wednesday starting today the 17th uh, this little cafe is serving tea and cakes um, 60p for a piece of cake lovely homemade stuff um, and Sundays during the summer so there you go. The old war memorial. Okay, here you've got the opening hours and uh, food serving times for the good intent. The recommended lunch time stop. It's quarter three now, by the way, after my uh, extended lunch. Okay, just past a uh, house called The Gallery, which in fact is a gallery, um, at the beginning of Lascombe Lane, and continuing our journey along the North Downs Way up Lascombe Lane. Voila. Okay, this is where uh, the routes diverge. Book 2, Walk 12 continues left 
up Lascombe Lane, North Downs Way continues straight ahead here in this tree tunnel. So that's my onward journey. Once again, tree canopy provides welcome respite from the heat. As we ascend out of Putnam, some fantastic views on my right down into the uh, valley side, but uh, I can't really get a good shot of them. Lovely bracken clad valley sides here. And the footpath is an absolute delight. Soft sand underfoot, not so loose like a beach that uh, it's difficult to walk on now either. It was earlier, a bit tricky, but not now. Looking across the valley at the famous Hog's Back. Further views of the Hog's Back from the edge of Putnam Common. As I say, I'm not doing much zooming today in order to conserve the battery. Absolutely delightful walking at the moment. No traffic noise. Not that many people about. In fact, I've only passed about four people all day on the actual walk. Very quiet. Not even the omnipresent chiff chaff today. Too hot for him. Approaching the outskirts of uh, the village of Seal, and it's a slightly different scenery here. The uh, hay's been cut, the woods have been cleared. There's a uh, thunder forecast today, later on anyway. Could well be possible, certainly hot enough, but uh, I don't think it's sultry enough. Views back towards uh, Putnam. As you can see in the grounds of the Hampton Estate, just on the fringes of the village of Seal now. Here's the famous tree house, 4B, even with uh, pints of milk outside. Wonderful. Well there's a sign of the times. Spraying the crops already. And this thing's pretty powerful as you can see. It's probably got a range of about 150 metres I'd say. It's very tempting to stand underneath it in this uh, hot weather. But uh, I think I'll give that a miss. There's another one over there. Just outside the village of Seal. The bees certainly seem to like this purple version of uh, what is a very similar plant to cornflower. And as you may be able to hear in the background, we're in Skylark territory. information panel here in the middle of nowhere about Binton Wood on the Hampton Estate. Walking past the 18th tee at uh, Farnham Golf Club. Hardly a soul on it. Amazing uh, as we approach the Masters at um, up in Scotland, can't remember the name of the course. Glen Eagles, God knows. <laughs> 